Okay, we're back. I'm gonna save. Should we have to end the video? Fuck it, we'll know for next time. Um, we're gonna find a safe way down this mountain. Yeah. And we're gonna go over to that one. And. Mm. Oh, look, there's shit down there too. Ooh. Don't you go sliding on me. Easy does it. Easy does it. Just slowly down the mountainside. That's it. <laughs> okay, we're good. This way in. Whatever is left of it. Multi-purpose room. Interesting. What else we got here? Can I scan anything else of this stuff? Oh, what the fuck! Bro, you dead. I'm alive. Survival of the fittest. I'm gonna drop that. Uh, you sure? Why not eat that? Okay, more of the story. Let's go. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive. As comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that can be months or even years. That's a space fracture. What the fuck? This time I thought it was. Man, I thought that was a laser trigger fracture. Fuck that. Okay. Inventory full. First time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. Oh no. We shouldn't have gone so deep. Oh no. They do not want us down there. Who's they? Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. Oh no. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. Oh. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Damn. So, they didn't make it, but when it looks like those three were here longer than us. The other people crashed on this planet? Who the fuck is they? Welcome aboard, Captain. Whoever built the, the, the supposed unknown weaponry? Okay. Got more shit to. Fuck okay. that. Ah, 250 meters. It's not that bad. Uh, we can hit that back on the way back to the life pod. And it's not life pod. Yeah, we can hit that on the way back. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? 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 What the fuck?
the fuck are you? Nope, nope, where's my ship? Where is... Where's my ship? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Off this ship. Not me, senor. Uh uh. You tell me, teleport me around places? Uh -uh, I don't play that. I don't fucking play that. Whoa. Here we go. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, can we get the light actually? Yeah, it's bad. What the fuck? Okay, we just gotta avoid that shit. Where's the way in? Where's the way in? Let the me in. conditions in this gate support a microcosm of the unique, possibly predatory life forms. <laughs> Detecting nice. an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Oh, somewhere? You mean like right in front of me? Okay, here we are. Here we are. Throw a plant bag. PDA, beautiful. Fucking grab that shit, man. Integrating new. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's oh, shot off. Oh, shit. Do you see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're bad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Ooh. So something shot down, has, has been shooting down ships for a long time. <laughs> And it shot down their ship, and it shot down the Aurora. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window, and sometimes I think how lucky what I am fuck? to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our diet, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. Integrating new PDA data. Um, what 
Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgal, has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Hmm. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes the hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. All right, well, a lot of intro. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more radio message that I listen to. Priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yogi Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright. We'll go check that out in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Um, we learned some interesting things today. Um, definitely, definitely got to start setting up, you know, I don't fucking know why I can't find that last piece of the laser cutter, but we can create a moon, uh, moon pool, it's somewhere I can park the, the sea moth, which is right there, I can park it in there, upgrade it, upgrade my suit, create the cyclops, all that good stuff. And we can go deeper and deeper because right now we're kind of like at our limit as so far down we can go with the sea moth. Um, but with the moon pool, we can hopefully upgrade that and go even deeper. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.